Jacob breathes his heart for the downtrodden, the homeless women, the families who lived in cold, damp basements without light, the orphans of families killed by poverty, was rooted in his own spiritual conversion at 18th Street Methodist Church in Brooklyn. Reese went through a moral crisis. When he had an opportunity to propose marriage to Elizabeth, his childhood sweetheart, who lived in Denmark, the young journalist realized that the corrupt dog-eat-dog -dog New York City newspaper world had left him unprepared for marriage. He had become hard-bitten, harsh, and dishonest. Walking down the street from his office in Brooklyn, Reese heard a song, Gently, O Lord, Gently Lead Us, a hymn by fellow Brooklynite Thomas Hastings. The young journalist was drawn into a revival meeting being led by the Reverend Ichabod Simons. He felt the Spirit of God came upon him. Reese recounted what happened. He said, In a Methodist revival, it was in the old 18th Street Church. I had fallen under the spell of the preacher's fiery eloquence. Brother Simons brought me to the altar quickly. Reese decided then and there to leave journalism and become a pastor. But the pastor was a wiser man. He told Reese, No, no, Jacob, not that. We have preachers enough. What the world needs is consecrated pens. Well, as they say, the rest is history. Reese married the love of his life, Elizabeth, and became a crusading reporter and photographer on behalf of the poor in New York City. Thank you.